So we're going to start off by just talking a little bit about the prevalence of autism. And I'm particularly interested to hear your thoughts about why autism seems to be increasing in prevalence. Well, I think the first thing to clarify is that the increase is real. Mm -hmm. We lost about a decade of people trying to talk about whether it was all just overdiagnosis and better recognition. And we've looked for the hidden hordes of people with autism mm -hmm. from earlier years that maybe had been missed and have not found them. So very careful studies have shown that at least 70 Eight percent of the increase is real. Wow. And so in 1975, it was one in 5,000. 2012, 2013, when um, some numbers were looked at reflecting earlier years, we're down to one in 50 children in the United wow. States now is being diagnosed with autism. That's an incredible increase. It's horrifying. And since males are disproportionately affected, it turns out to be one in 42 males born wow. now has the risk of developing an autism spectrum disorder. Huh. This is unsustainable from a standpoint of taking care of these kids in school and thinking about their lifelong needs. So that's why I'm so passionate about mm -hmm. trying to get the word out and looking at how we might um, take care of this. So obviously you can't have a genetic epidemic right. in a period of a generation. Right. So clearly there are environmental factors. 